to spot. Supplies here to aid us. The arch druid's eyes and ears have fallen away in her absence. I am training new ones. I bring word of gnomes, gnomes in the sea. the blushing mermaid, there's a stink of something fey. Smell of ass too, but boss doesn't care about that. There's been killings in a holy place, stinks of incense and blood. Supplies you seek? Weapons to aid in our fight? You won't find them behind that door. There is nothing back there of worth to anyone but me. It should be no surprise to you that Harpers like to hold their secrets close. Whether there is sense in it or not. On my word, all you will find inside is dust and the moldering keepsakes of a much younger woman. But then, perhaps I make too much of this. How can I beg privacy when I was not half so trusting on our first meeting? Pass then. Go on. See what it is a foolish old harper thinks worth hiding away. Right. 
Secret of the Timeless Body. What's that about? I'd best ask Jahira. Yes? Ah. The threat of spanking never kept the children from poking through my things. Why should it deter you? It is a ritual, or it describes one at least. Practiced by druids of certain esoteric circles. If they be learned and powerful enough, the practitioner of this ritual might slow their aging, extend their life well beyond its natural reach. In greener days, I might have been strong enough to do it. I might be yet, with the right preparations. Do not look at me like that. I have been content to see the span of my natural years. A privilege far too few in this world can claim. I do not speak of clinging to life for its own sake, I just... look back on that life's work and I wonder... is it done? The dead tree plague the world still. The city still falls prey to small minds like Gortash or lost souls like Orin. It is every harper's hope to be a light that drives out darkness. But I've lived long enough to see so many of those lights burn out while the shadows cling stubbornly on. <sighs> Knowing that, isn't it our duty to burn on if we can? To fight for as long as we are able? Of course, it is our way. Just as it is death's way to meet us along the path, gently oblivious to whatever it is we want. I spend most of my life fighting those who try to escape their end. Gatherick, Iranicus, Saravok. <laughs> that is not company I would like to keep. In truth, I had put this ritual from my mind. Until last light, trapped in that darkness. I turn to my research again. What if I was a little stronger? As fast as I once had been. Then you came. And made the question moot. But I kept this. Just in case, I told myself. A final resort. Perhaps you were not the savior you seemed. <laughs> I had learned better than to think of life as some simple tale after all. There is no guarantee of happy endings, or true heroes. I believe that still. But when I look on all that we have achieved since, I wonder perhaps it is not heroes we need. Only people who are willing to try. I do not know what manner of story that makes. But I do know that without an ending, it would be no story at all. So I will accept mine, when and however it comes. As for this city story, well... Well, that is entirely your problem now, Cub. Thank me for slinging a weight around your neck. I might start to feel bad. I do mean what I say. But I am also a harper. In every honeyed word, there is a hook. But I do not plan on going anywhere just yet. And besides, you still have a tadpole in your skull. You are almost certainly going to die first. given you much reason to think that Harper's hoard secrets like precious stones, but I promise you, this was not some intrigue, just uh, plain and simple foolishness, as if by keeping clear of my family, I might keep them clear of the cult in turn. And if this fight were to go against us, well, we had already done their mourning. Why well, visit it on them twice? Well, 
If fool I be, then at least I'm in good company. I was wrong to think I could keep my children from this fight. They're Baldurian born and bred. The only damned reason I root myself in this place. This city is a cesspit. An open sewer of the soul that taints us with its filth and churns us out when all that is good has been stripped away. It also happens to be their home. And so it is mine. Ugh. That might be the first time I have said that out loud. Now come. We had best get to saving it. Lest Ryan turn her ire on us both. A gift from my husband. I've had to renew parts over the years. But the heart remains the same as the day he gave it to me. 